guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a wonderful, blessed day. I know I did. Hey, let's jump back up into another brand new drink here for you guys. If you don't know who I am, now you do. My name is Justin. Smack that subscribe button below. Become part of our huge families who grow every single day, whether it be numbers and or in knowledge. Today, we got knowledge and flavor. All right, so today we're trying the Four loco Blue Raspberry Sour. Right? Okay, 14% alcohol as the other ones are. Um, <clears throat> so, never in my life have I seen this flavor. Um, I'm not entirely sure how new it is, but I think it's relatively new within the like, last uh, two to three years that they actually made this one, I believe. I was looking earlier, I've seen other people doing reviews from like 2019, uh, so I'm assuming around that area, if I was not mistaken. Uh, their actual page just didn't show me when I looked, because I was kind of curious on how long it's been out. Um, another fact that I found while we were there was the fact that, uh, Tennessee actually lowers their alcohol concentration inside their Four Locos to, I believe, only 10%. They don't let them, uh, become the 14 or 13.9% alcohol level. But, I'm excited to taste this one. I love blue raspberry drinks, so. Ooh. That's nice. That's actually got a really nice smell to it. So it doesn't have that real, like, in immense flavor smell that, like, uh, most of your, uh, uh, most of your Four Locos do. And that color, look at that color. That turquoise blue, almost crystal blue that's just a beautiful color drink pretty lady's gonna have a stroke over that one Ugh. all right let's go ahead and give it a try it smells candied it it's gonna i feel almost like a cotton candy smell raspberry like the blue cotton candy but definitely you can smell the sour so hopefully hopefully it's actually sour cheers Okay. Okay. One of the more smoother Four Locos for sure. Uh, more candied than anything. It doesn't have that really strong Four Loco bite at the end. That real like agonizing taste. Uh, everybody knows Four Loco before. I don't even know what to call it honestly. But it's not really necessarily sour. I guess you could say more towards a uh, bitter. Uh, but definitely it rolls into each other really well. They have a blue raspberry and then the sourness all over top of each other. Tastes awesome. The aftertaste is actually really good. Uh, it doesn't leave a bad film or a bad uh, taste. It leaves the candied blue uh, raspberry flavor in like you had just had maybe a Jolly Rancher or something. It's, it's really good. I would have to say that oh, now trying this one, this is probably my favorite Four loco yet that we have done. And I believe this is the last one of those. So, But then again, I said that last time when we found this one. So I love how they have the blue on red, or light blue, dark blue on red camo thing going. They have the white lettering over top of blue and black. Uh, Really awesome malt beverage. I love how they do their cans. Um, nothing really fancy on this one either, but they also have a website at 4loco.com. You can check that out there. Uh, the color amazes me also. It's it just oh, it's just such a beautiful color, honestly. We're going to save that one for Pretty Lady. Yeah. And I love how soft it is and smooth. It doesn't overwhelm you with flavor. It doesn't make you kind of like quench up any. The softness of the sour that kind of mixes in. Like I said, it's almost bitter instead of sour. It's not like a lemon sour, but it has enough twang to it to justify it being sour. So, 
definitely going to give this an, a, um, I don't know, I don't want to scale it, but four lo number one out of the four locos, for sure. Um, even, like, as I'm, I'm burping, it's very carbonated, so it does sit heavy, like, on the top of your stomach, and it makes you burp a lot, so it's kind of weird in that way. So, I mean, as you've seen when I poured, it kind of bubbled up a lot into the glass, but... Other than that, I think it's a good drink. Tastes great. Has a wonderful finish. But guys, that is our Four Loco Blue Raz, Sour Blue Raz review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Nothing too extravagant today. But, we do have some really awesome reviews coming up soon. Trying to find them. Trying to get some things together so we can do them. But guys... Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If you like the review, hit the like button below. Smash the comments if you've tried this for loco and what you think about it. Guys, hit that subscribe button. Come part of our huge families. We grow every single day, whether it be in numbers and or in knowledge, guys. As we creep up that ladder of growth, I'm enjoying every bit of it. I love you guys to death, and you know what it is. It's a live day, guys. If you don't know when to catch those lives, hit that notification bell. Let you know when we go live and when we post videos. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, the lives. And we post videos Monday through Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, guys. The live tonight, not entirely sure yet what we're going to be drinking. Depends on how I feel after we eat. We're about to go grub up on some chicken. But, guys, thanks for watching. As always, till later, till next time, till always, guys, I'm Justin. And I will see you guys later on the live. If I don't see you later, I'll see you tomorrow with another brand new video as always. <sighs> Man. And y'all have a blessed rest of your Wednesday. Catch you later, guys. Have a great night.